And what is going on, boys and girls? The season finale has come. It is Super Bowl 53, Rams Patriots in Atlanta tonight at 6:30. I think we kind of thought the Rams would be here um, last week, though they got here on kind of a controversial uh, missed call, um, and I, it happens or whatever. But it was a really bad look for the league, and you don't like to see that. Um, I've, I've heard Saints fans say, well, you had to play defense. Well, if they had called that play, it would have been first down and goal. You could have let the clock run out and kicked the field goal and won the game. Yeah, you know, it's still, if something like that happens, you still have to have to play or whatever and you know, play defense. But it just sucks for Saints fans. Uh, the Patriots on the other side, they gave the Chiefs a you know a tough game. Both games went to overtime, so, I mean, it, it was a toss-up anyway, and literally in the Patriots game, it was a toss of the coin that uh, won them the game, really, because the Chiefs didn't have to touch the ball in, o in overtime. Um, there was a rough in the passer in that game that was very questionable. Um, hey, that's, that's the way this league is now, especially when you have so many replays that we can look at it at home and know what happened. But them on the field, the referees, they, they don't see it somehow. I, I don't. I don't know, I can't speak for them, but either way, we're here, Rams, Patriots. Uh, Patriots are the favorite going into this, no surprise. They've you know won five of eight that they've been to this century. Uh, so, you know, right when it started out, it has uh, Patriots as one and a half point favorites. Uh, now it's gotten to two and a half point favorites, and the over-under is 56, if you bet that way. Um, most experts I've seen are picking the Patriots. Uh, well, experts, but um, it's, it's going to be interesting, I think. Um, looking forward to the commercials this year, and that and you see my dog there saying hello. Uh, mostly looking toward, forward to the commercials this year, and the halftime show could be interesting. I'm hearing Sweet Victory by from SpongeBob might be in the halftime show. I'm not sure if that's confirmed yet, but that might be a prop bet you can bet on whether there'll be a, a, a SpongeBob uh, theme in the halftime show by Maroon 5. Don't know why Maroon 5 would go that way, but hey, we've been we've been wanting that that uh, SpongeBob halftime show for years now. Uh, but either way, to the pick of the game, I'm I'm going Rams. I just I just know the Patriots will win if I pick the Rams, but I feel like the Rams are a good young team, and they've matured enough to have you know in the peak form there. Against the Patriots, all you really have to do is stop that five-yard pass from Tom Brady and contain the running game. Because really, last week, if Brady would have just handed the ball off, they'd have, they'd have won by a landslide. All he had to do was hand the ball off every single time. They'd have blown the Chiefs out because there was no defense for that run. And the Rams' defense is a little bit better on, on the in the at the line and uh, linebackers there. So. Th That'll be an interesting point to look at. Uh, that's why I give the edge to the Rams. Uh, but, I mean, you know, Tom Brady is, you know, they call him the GOAT because he wins these games. And he's not going against an NFC East opponent, so odds are pretty good. All of his losses have been Giants and Eagles, so we'll see how that goes. Um, the awards, whatever, also came out this week. Um, MVP is Patrick Mahomes, I believe, and Offensive Player of the Year was Patrick Mahomes. Um, actually, I don't know if they released MVP, but if it is, it should be Patrick Mahomes, I think, because you want offensive player, you should get MVP. Uh, defensive player of the year went to Aaron Donald, who's in the Super Bowl. And offensive rookie didn't go to Baker Mayfield, but it went to Saquon Barkley. And that that's one case where I would like to see an AFC offensive rookie and an NFC offensive rookie, because both, both did great this year. Uh, Barkley with the most receptions by a rookie running back, I believe. It's a great running back on a kind of bad team, um, and and Barkley. I mean, I mean Mayfield or whatever brought a team that was 0 16 last year, and this year they finished 7 8 and 1. I mean that's that's a pretty big swing, adding seven wins to a team. Uh, but I mean, of course, it wasn't all him. But you know, you gotta give some credit there. To try and look for some prop bets for you guys, I haven't found any. Uh, but. Oh, we got one. Okay, Patriots to have more first downs. I think they might because, like I said earlier, Tom Brady does those short passes. So I think that'll be that'll be huge for 
for getting that in that bet. If you're betting for the Patriots to have more first downs, I'd probably go Patriots on that one. Just because the, the Rams are more big play uh, kind of offense. Uh, Rom Gronkowski to score the first touchdown is one of them. I don't, I don't know. Because, I mean, I think it might be a run play is the first touchdown. And I'm not sure if it's first Patriots touchdown or first overall, but it's a possibility that that's not a bad bet but i'm thinking it's gonna be a rushing touchdown for the first one todd Gurley over 61.5 rushing yards i'd like to think so but he hasn't really done much lately and cj anderson has been killing it i'd like to i'd like to say todd Gurley gets over 61 and a half i'm rooting for todd Gurley in this game i don't like the rams or the patriots this year i'm rooting for todd Gurley because he's from tarboro high school just down the road from where, I, where I'm from. And with the Patriots, they have a, a young man named Keon Crossan who went to Northampton um, High School, which is the other way up the road for me. And uh, so I'm rooting for those two guys. Keon Crossan's a defensive back. I think he might be a, a bench guy who comes off the bench every now and then. But I'd like to see him get a pick, and I'd like to see Ty Gurley, I don't know, break the rushing yard record in the, in the Super Bowl or something. That would be really cool uh, for the area that I'm from. Uh, but yeah, getting over 61 and a half rushing yards seems very doable. Uh, but he's got to get touches. I mean, yeah, uh, CJ Anderson's been been doing really good uh, here lately, and I think both of them will get touches. So, but I think it's a safe bet. Ty Gurley over 61 and a half rushing yards. Tom Brady over 295 and a half passing yards. That now that's a tough tough one there. Um, last week he had a good good passing day. He had a lot of passes, but the run game was also really good. So, I mean, they were just – there was not much defense in that game. This game was, should be a little different. Uh, Rams' defense is pretty legit. Um, so, I don't know. That that could be a tough one. That I might would go over, but, you know, I, I'm going to go under. I think he's going to be close to that. But I don't think – if he goes over that, I think it's a certain win uh, for the Patriots. Uh, but I think it's going to be a tight game. Uh, every Patriots Super Bowl has been a one-possession game, so anyone expecting a blowout, it's not happened yet, and it could. I mean, who knows? This way football is, but the Patriots haven't blown out a team in the, in the Super Bowl. Um, the, the, I think the biggest uh, margin of victory for them was an overtime win against the Falcons, which they you know came back, and Falcons fans are hating that memory, but... Uh, it should be a tight game. Um, every game usually comes down to a field goal, f- four points, or a, you know, overtime touchdown. So, um, and even they lost to the Eagles. That was about like eight or six or eight or somewhere in there. Uh, but yeah, that, that's all I got right now. Um, I didn't find any good prop bets. I was looking to entertain you for a little bit longer than uh, just the one game. Um, but overall, the season was pretty good not too happy with the Super Bowl result. I mean, my team's not there, so, yeah, I'm not going to be happy, but um, it, it should be uh, interesting. I'm looking forward to the draft. That's going to be in Nashville, which, by the way, I heard is free to attend. Uh, there's VIP seating and stuff that you, know, you can pay for, but it's going to be a pretty big event in Nashville, um, and I'm looking forward to that. I don't think I'm going to be able to go to that. It's a little, little bit of ways for me, but um, it should be entertaining. I'm looking forward to seeing how, how that turns out and everything. Uh, hoping my Titans get some good picks this year. Um, and then I also, I'm looking forward to baseball season. That's right around the corner. I'm an Orioles fan, so it's going to be tough, <laughs> but, uh, we're very under the radar this year. If we finish over 500, that would be huge. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to all these other sports going on. Uh, NBA, my Denver Nuggets are doing well. Um, hockey, I like the Predators. They're doing pretty good this year. They, they just lost last night, but they're doing pretty good. They're doing good things there. And uh, it's a lot of sports. NASCAR is coming along, and I might be doing some NASCAR videos. Me and my friend Travis, who's been on here, uh, we're big NASCAR fans, so we might get something together for that. Uh, but yeah, lots to look forward to, even when the NFL season's over. Um, but hoping, hoping y'all enjoy the game, have safe parties or whatever you do. Uh, Buffalo Wild Wings is giving free uh, wings if uh, the game goes into overtime. So be looking out for that because it's a possibility. Both teams came coming off an overtime game last week. I mean, the week before the Pro Bowl. So, I mean, you might get some free wings out of this game. Uh, but 
overall it should be a good one. I'm looking forward to everything about it. Uh, don't know if I'm going to watch it as much. I didn't watch last year's because uh, I really don't like the Eagles and I don't like the Patriots. I watched like the last two minutes of it. I know it's terrible, but uh, this year, I, I don't know. I, I just don't really like either team. <laughs> but uh, I think Rams are going to win it. I'm picking the Rams. Uh, it's probably going to be by like a touchdown because that's the way it usually is. Uh, the tight, tight Super Bowl games with the Patriots. Uh, but overall, great season. Thank you all for um, for watching my videos. Um, appreciate it, and you know, I like every view I can get. Tell all your friends about it. I'm gonna have more um, highlight videos. I have Madden videos and stuff is gonna be coming up soon. Um, gonna be doing NASCAR stuff probably. So be on the lookout for that, and uh, enjoy the game. And I will see you next time.